Good morning. Uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you an example of uh, how to uh, create an area in ESP dot net core project. So first of all, uh, create a folder that is area, and in which we have uh, two areas that is admin and user. In admin sections, we have uh, a controller sections as well as the model section and the view sections the all three parts is there in the admin section model view controller okay now in the third part controller section views in the user sections so first of all add a new controller empty controller in the controller sections of the admin area when you add a admin uh, controller then must to define attribute area with the proper area name that is area and admin area okay similarly in the user area add a controller first and define the area attribute or you can say the data notations area with the user area the name of the area is user now after doing this uh, must to add a view section without model you can see that your view is added inside the admin area you can see that is home and the index.cshtml similarly for the user area add a view for the users so by using area attribute you can mm, separate your project in the different areas okay now set some uh, ASP controller ASP action or you can also call HTTP ref in anchor tag for the same controller or for for the different controller as well as different area the controller name is home and action name is about and ASP area is admin area similarly in the dif uh, for the different areas must to set the controller as well as the action name and also the name of the area that is user area now the name of the action is about add a view for the about uh, action method name you know that area is must to define uh, in the anchor tag uh, if you got uh, some error uh, when you call 
different area or the same area in ESP.NET Core then please comment it if you want to learn about the anchor tag how to call different area from the anchor tag must to comment it if you want to know okay so we have design is completed in the startup.cs file must to set the route file the default route is uh, given that is controller is home action is index and id is the optional attribute must to set the area area so the path is area and the name of the controller and the name of the action and separated with the slash so the default area call by using admin you can see that yeah that is for the same controller for the different controller and the, in the action uh, in the anchor tag actually does not work because uh, when you define the area must to set the HTTP ref object in place of the action and as well as the controller name because you already define the area in the startup.cs file if you want to see it's not working A text is only display but uh, hyperlink is not working because due to the path when you uh, if you want to set the hyperlink properly with the navigation then must to set the HTTP ref in the anchor tag attribute and also define that desired path or you can say absolute path in by using apps HTTP ref okay so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial uh, to define the area in ASP.NET Core if you want to learn about uh, anchor tag to call uh, different area then must to comment it and please share this video and like this video thank you very much